Yo, Mangna Mai, happy Lunar New Year's, guys. I'm gonna do a red eyeshadow look and a neutral lip. I'm pretty sure it might change along the way. But I wanted to do a little lookbook for you guys because my mom makes a bunch of aoyai, which are these here that I've hung up. And it's a traditional Vietnamese dress. And a lot of hers are like slightly traditional, but also kind of her modern take. She makes a lot of them from scratch, but also some of them are from like thrifted dresses, which is really cool. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I have nothing on my face right now, so I'm gonna start with Buffet by The Ordinary. I like to just use this in the morning and at night. It's a really good serum and it's super light, so it goes well under makeup. And then I'm gonna use the Natural Moisturizing Factors and HA moisturizer from The Ordinary as well. I got a bunch of The Ordinary products, if you can't tell. My primer is also going to be from The Ordinary, so bear with me. But I really like them because they're super, super inexpensive, um, and they work really well. So now that my face is moisturized, I'm going to prime it. And did I tell you or did I tell you it is The Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. So I was using Fenty Pro Filter Primer for a while, but I found that it was a little too drying. Um, I really like their foundation, so I decided to keep it, but I just thought that it was a little too matte for me, um, especially because my, si my skin can get a little bit dry. So I am using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color 240, and it matches my skin super well. This is like super therapeutic to do. So growing up for Lunar New Year, um, I used to live right in Little Saigon in San Francisco, like the Tenderloin. So whenever there was the festival, it was right outside of our apartment. And my favorite memory, well one, the food is really good. Like there are a bunch of food vendors, um, a lot of Vietnamese music, which is what my parents do. Um, but then all the kids in the neighborhood will come out and they sell all these toys. So we would buy BB guns. I think we were maybe like 10 or 11, something like that. And we would buy BB guns and then split up into groups and then have like turf wars. And it was so much fun. I'm sure that it was like such a nuisance. But that's what I remember from Lunar New Year. That and like a lot of firecrackers. So I have this little red dot here that's like a dried up acne. It's not even really a scab. It's just like dry pimple skin. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. And I'm trying to pick it off. I don't know if that's the right move. We're just gonna use my tweezers, we're gonna see what happens. I really hope that I don't caught, like draw blood. But in recent years, as we've gotten older, we have been going down to San Jose where there's a larger Vietnamese community and there's a bunch of festivals down there. It's mostly just like a lot of eating food, looking at vendors. They're usually at Vietnamese Plaza, so me and my brother will usually go and just like look at the little toy stores and stuff like that. So the concealer that I used was the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline in the color Light. And then for this dry spot, what I did is took, I honestly can't even remember what this is called because I've like shaved it all the way down, but it's an Urban Decay pencil concealer. And I just dabbed some of that on the dry spot. And because it matches my skin color so well, like it takes very little blending on the edges, but it's really helping that dry spot blend right in. So now I'm gonna set it with my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. So I'm just gonna dab it in. Dab, 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 dab. Using the Anastasia Contour Kit. Okay, now we're gonna blend it in. So I'm gonna highlight with the Glossier Holoscope. Rub that in on the top here. And I like using this before I use my powder highlight just because I feel like it helps it stick a lot better. So for blush, I'm gonna use the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. And I am going for a less shimmery blush look, I guess, because usually when I use my other Benefit one, it ends up getting shimmer all up in this area, so I thought it would be nice to just like get some color and then focus my shimmer just where I want my highlight. So for highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. And this one does kind of have like a pink tinge to it. So 
So for my brows, I'm just going to use this Makeup Forever Retractable Pencil. I'm not entirely sure what it's called because I kind of rubbed off all of the text. So a lot of people have asked me why I do my eyebrows still the same color even though my hair is light and I personally just really like having dark brows with light hair. I think it's just a matter of preference and I think that it would look kind of strange on my black eyebrow hairs to do anything lighter so. So now for the fun part, I'm just now putting primer on my eyelids and this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So because I want my eyeshadow to really stick, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Metallic Cream Eye Color in Gold. And I'm just going to rub that all over my eyelid, but mainly focusing on the lower half. So I'm going to use this little brush, and I'm going to just put this kind of like medium brown color as my transition shade, or my blending shade. So I'm just going to put it kind of where my brow bone is. And then I'm going to take my red shadow and then I'm just going to apply it with my finger because I feel like that's the most pigmented way to do it. And then I'll blend it out. So I just place it on the lower part of my lid. So now that I have my color in there, I'm going to take this fluffy kind of flat brush and I'm going to use that to blend in all of my edges. And I kind of do this step like over and over and over again. I just like add pigment, blend it out, add pigment, blend it out. And then once I'm done with this, I'm going to go in and add a darker shade kind of just to the outside corner. Just to give it my eyes a little more definition and then I'll go in with a lighter shade on the inside. So for the darker shade, I'm going to use Hustle on the Naked palette. And I'm just going to tap it in right here. So for highlight, I like using the Half Baked in the Naked palette and I just pop it right in the center here. And then I'm also going to take the same red shade and then put it right on my under eye. Also, sorry, I keep moving backwards just because the sun is coming into my room and so it just washes me out completely. But now that I'm done with eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. So it will stick. It is amazing. Great for dry lips. And then I'm just going to pop on this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. It is a staple. I like don't really wear any other lip products. So now that that's done, I guess I will do my eyelashes. I rarely ever wear lashes. Um, if I do, it's probably because it's a special occasion, I'm going out somewhere. I am constantly having to move around my room just because it is getting so bright in here. So this is the completed Lunar New Year look. I am going to hop in my Aoyai now, go grab my mom, my cousin, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 